now a big chunk of it's going to crack off and fall in the water, then it's back to Al Gore and the PowerPoint. Another cup of coffee? It's 1947! Darn straight I want another cup of coffee! And more pie! And cigarettes! And scotch! And a giant car with a glove box full of cigarettes! And scotch! And pie! Well, we found the missing link between Rhett Butler and Floyd the Barber. Oh, huh. looks like we're gonna get a crossover between Mad Men and Alice. Angels are getting their wings all over the place here. Potential? What'll it be this morning? Coffee? Yes, Gracie. A cup of coffee before I start. Uh, dude, when the commercial says try just for men, they don't mean selectively. You're supposed to put it on all of your hair. Hey, if I were to put this in a paper cup and give it a foreign name, could I charge five times as... Nah, that's crazy. Why the worried look? Wife hit me over the head with a sack of flour again. Worried? Oh no, Gracie. I was just wondering where I'm going to find some more prospects. Prospects? What are they? Suckers, rubes, chumps. Prospects, Gracie, are people who need insurance. Well, don't look at me. I just took a policy from you last week. What do you want? Blood? Blood? Is that what you want? You want blood? More prospects. Where am I going to find them? How am I going to get them? Take it easy, Jim, old man. Take it easy. Oh, that explains his hair. This before. It's full of non-dairy creamer. Prospects are all around you, wherever you go. Is that so? Of course it's so. Would I lie to my own whatever relationship we have? Take Walter Smith, who owns it. Oh, I know he's crowding the retirement age, and he's protected with business insurance, family coverage, and retirement income. And there's the whole one foot in the grave up. thing. You've done a swell job with Walter Smith, adjusting his program to fit the changing conditions through the years. And, well, he isn't exactly a prospect himself. You see right Walter here, it Smith says, a not a substitute for bloodletting. The leeches come in a separate package. You know, you need to keep them in the refrigerator, occasionally, not all the time, but occasionally give them some breadcrumbs. Don't overfeed them or they won't suck up that blood, and yes, 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 they certainly do sting a little bit, but no pain, no gain. I've got your <coughs> vitamins. Uh, Mrs. Hardy, uh, meet uh, Jim Reynolds. He's an agent for the Prudential. How do you do, Mr. Reynolds? If that is your real name. Hardy. Are you a newcomer to our town? Yes, Jim. Get out! Mr. Hardy is the foreman at the new plant uh, out on the south side. You know, See, the baddest part of town. Now. I hope no one in your family is seriously ill. Oh, no. Judy has a slight touch of the flu. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope she gets well soon. Well, everyone in town seems to have it. And our kids seem to get everything that's going around. I'm fed up with them, actually. Well, perhaps when she's better, you'll allow me to call on you and Mr. Hardy to talk to him about his life insurance. After she's not a filthy, I'm disgusting sure germ bag. I'm buying any insurance. I don't think he'd object to talking to you. If you want to come around, we live at 195 Benson. Thank you, Mrs. Hardy. Perhaps I can be of some service to him and offer him some suggestions on his present life insurance. I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Oh, just put that in my account, Mr. said. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mrs. Hardy. And I hope your uh, father gets over his leprosy, much, was it? I don't, I don't know. You're welcome, Jim. Prospects are the foundation of this business. The success of every prudential man depends on prospects. People approachable under favorable circumstances. Keep walking, don't make eye contact, I'll try to sell you insurance. Able to pay for it and acceptable as risks. That's right, Jim, old man. Success comes from sales. 
Sales come from interviews. So there's this guy, the echoey voice in his head, and his own visage in a cup of coffee. This guy talks with more incarnations of himself than a Doctor Who reunion episode. So no bourbon before you've had a hearty breakfast. To get information about them and to translate that information into their total insurance need. Remember, too, prospecting must be a continuous process. It's like alphabets you made a decaf. Replenish your list of prospects. Remember three. Prospecting requires the systematic coverage of all sources. It's a part of every contact and every conversation. Practically every house, every place of business, every shop is a source of good prospects. You can form relationships with no financial motive. Remember In two. Moscow. Prospecting requires the recording of information. Information. Prospect information. Is so important to your success. You can't depend on memory alone. Remember five. Prospecting is the key to sales. I need to remember that. Sound prospecting opens the gateway to outstanding production. Yes, prospecting and sales go hand in hand. It's kind of implied by one the through four, isn't it? Factors that make prospecting the partner of successful salesmanship lead oh, right back to Oh, best Walter Truman, Smith. you are so naked in my head business. right now. He's also a center of influence in his family. His children are grown up now, grown up and making homes of their own. Did I mention they were Amish? They're new prospects for you. Okay, that's a little warped. This business you're constantly face to face with the future. It's the first baby for Jane, and she's happy. Happy because it's a boy, and her husband wanted a boy. She has no wants of her own, of course. Here is prospecting in the raw. Ew. And a most opportune time to talk insurance needs. For Dad is a prospect now, there's more family and more need for life insurance on Dad's life. Wives and mothers can, of course, be easily replaced, like paper goods or hamsters. This little fellow might be president of the United States. He is, after all, but male and Caucasian. Be be. He's sure to need life insurance the same as his dad. So, let's start his program now. He's an android? When he's old enough, he can become a partner with his dad and help pay for his own insurance with the money he makes from odd jobs. It will help him learn the lesson of systematic thrift. In addition, it may be the first step in providing for his future education. Okay, so the you keep him until we money. make the first premium payment? Pay is is that standard? If he has the opportunity to get one. Dad is a prospect, and this is an ideal time to discuss his family security program with him. When's a bad time? There is no bad Remember, time. Pay attention. The fellow is a prospect, too. Yes, sir. A seven pound, six ounce prospect and growing bigger all the time. What's he on, HGH? Make a note of it. Something new has been added to the family. Baby, human, get lunch money ASAP. It's a brand new house for Bill Smith, as beautiful a place as any man could ever hope to call his own. Granted, a fourth wall well, would be nice, years, but... When the mortgage is paid off, well, he can call it his own home anyway. Liar! What's the difference? The difference is making sure with mortgage redemption insurance, and that makes you, Bill Smith, a prospect for specific... Where's coverage. that Dear Abby column I clipped out about how to say no to insurance aware. salesman? And generally, it isn't something the size of a house that tips the information. It's usually a little something that drops easily in the course of conversation. Something perhaps about the neighbors. Gossip. A gag, even. That translated means insurance needed. Speaking of dropping easily, arrange to see when the wife prospecting later. Prospecting is a continuous process with a prudential man. People shun you. When it's automatically a part of every contact and every conversation people really shun you one prospect leads to the families of friends and neighbors that new doctor in the neighborhood 
He's building quite a practice. Considering he's lost 14 patients and he's an allergist. Prospect. Yes, prospects are everywhere. And by the way, Bill Smith, that raise and pay that gave you the courage to buy this new house... It won't last. ...will make you interested in some additional income insurance for your family. Make a note of that, too. And if you find something that Senator Prospect McCarthy would find interesting, make a note of, of that, too. ...for intelligent selling and service. Prospecting requires the systematic coverage of all sources. And that, of course, includes the newspapers. Aliens in the Weekly World News, they might need insurance. Today there's a story about Sam McKay's daughter graduating with all honors from high school. This is a He's small town. Too, it says. Sure enough, her dad has an endowment policy maturing. You can insure your endowment? Guess you put all that money into insight. You want to protect yourself. Without endowment premium out of the way. <laughs> Speaking of endowment, years ago, will help him put Mary through college. Must be chilly in there. Wise father. Put somebody's eye out. Lucky girl. Sam wouldn't have taken that policy years ago, except for some prospecting prudential man, and he probably wouldn't take any more insurance now without another prospecting prudential man. He wouldn't have that wicked skull so tattoo without a prudential man, insurance. but that's another story. Everybody does. It's just that Sam is human. He's just like so many other people. He puts insurance off, postpones it as something he can pick up any time. Filthy, stupid his human. Family would be in a bad way if the prudential man felt the same way about it. We'll put a policy Sam on each finger separately, so you're completely covered. Sometimes it's hard to tell where prospecting stops and selling begins. Your marital bed, your father's funeral. Nope, what doesn't end there. Sales, the proof of positive prospecting. Prospecting is the key to sales. Behind every application for insurance are three carbon copies. Five fundamental factors that make prospecting hey, my disembodied head floating in a cup of coffee is a prospect. Disembodied head floating in a cup of coffee. Did you ever think what would happen to your loved ones if you woke up tomorrow and you were suddenly decaffeinated? Process. Prospecting requires the systematic coverage of all sources. Prospecting requires the recording of information. You won't get it. Ha, 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 Prospecting ha, 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 is the key to sales. That coffee must be stone cold by this time. 98.6. What? I said that coffee must be stone cold by this time. Oh, no, no, Gracie. Uh, it's wonderful coffee. Another cup? Mmm. -hmm. No, Gracie. I've got a lot of prospects to see. But, but the title was Another Cup of Coffee. Oh. oh, a whole cup of coffee. I guess I can go home early today. <sighs> oh, I forgot to buy the end insurance. Ah.